Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage. In this video, I will be installing this Gold Strike passenger armrest for the Honda Gold Wing Tour. The part number is 25021. They make several aftermarket passenger armrests for the newer style Honda Gold Wing, but I decided to go with the Gold Strike because it's going to give me the ability to attach the Gold Strike drink holder to the passenger armrest. Now keep in mind that this video is not sponsored by Gold Strike. I pay for these accessories out of my pocket and I'm going to show you how to get these installed if you have the newer style Honda Gold Wing and give you my opinion about what I think about this passenger armrest. I will include in the description of the video exactly where I picked these Gold Strike accessories up for my Honda Gold Wing. So stay tuned to my video and we're going to get the passenger armrest unboxed and I'm going to show you how to install it on the newer style Honda Gold Wing. Let's get started. So looking at the Gold Strike passenger armrest for the Honda Gold Wing, let's get it open and see what comes inside of the box. comes with installation instructions. Looks fairly simple. Comes with the hardware. Comes with the passenger armrests. Some more mounting hardware. And this allows you to attach the drink holder to the armrest. And another armrest. So let's get this open. See what it looks like. It's kind of got a soft feel to it, but it's, it's still kind of rigid. Got some hardware. And just looking at this hardware, I can kind of see how it's going to be attached. So they're giving you two washers. So one would go on each side and then they give you four screws, two for each, two for each side. So they're giving us a bracket couple of screws, a couple of washers, and the same for the other side. So this should be a pretty easy installation. Like I said, they make several different style armrests for the Honda Gold Wing, but I decided to go with the Gold Strike because it's going to allow me to attach the Gold Strike drink holder to the armrest. And it's got these little holes for attaching some little rubber plugs. And it gives you a rubber O-ring. So you could put the armrest on either arm. So it got it has a little slot that you line up. And you got a little slot inside of the armrest. So it's gonna go up to the 12 o'clock position once we have it mounted. And then it'll drop down. And this way it doesn't come out. So you can do it, you can put them on either armrest. Okay. So you got that little notch 
and on the inside you got the notch so you line it up 12 o'clock position stick it in drop it down and now the armrest attachment will not come out you can remove it at any time so I like that because it's going to give me the ability to put it on either side the right or the left side next let's get the passenger armrest installed on the Honda Goldwing so looking at the armrest area of the Honda Goldwing Tour you have these little plastic covers on both sides so we have to remove these plastic covers on both sides and I'm going to show you how to remove these covers so we can get the passenger armrest installed in this area so now that I have the trunk open how do we get these little plastic covers off so I'm going to show you how to get the covers off on the right and left side so now that I have the trunk open you got two screws that has to come out so to take out the screws I'm going to be using a regular Phillips screwdriver and an offset screwdriver because you're not going to be able to get the panels out unless you take the backrest off and this is where the offset screwdriver is going to come in you got two screws that has to come out you have one on the bottom but to get this bottom one out you're going to have to take the top screw out otherwise you don't have the maneuverability to get that screw out on the bottom so so to get the, the cover off the front first thing is taking out this side screw we're gonna have to take that out so we can bend the armrest back to get the bottom screw out so I'm gonna take off the side screw first take the side screw out first so now as you can see now I can bend the passenger armrest out so you're not gonna be able to get you're not gonna be able to get a straight screwdriver to that bottom screw and this is where the offset screwdriver comes in you're going to reach in and kind of pull the armrest out where you can get an offset screwdriver in to where you can turn this lower Phillips screw counterclockwise. And you just want to take your time and get this out. Otherwise, you're going to have to take the whole passenger backrest off. Now that I have the screw, the screw loose, I'm going to reach in and take that screw out. And there is a little screw. So take the big screw out first on the top and then you can reach the small screw on the bottom. So now that I have the screws out, now I can take the plate that's covering the area. Now I can pop that little plate out. So as you can see, the top screw goes in the top. The bottom screw goes into the bottom. And this is the only thing that's holding the plastic plate onto the back of the the passenger backrest so looking at the hardware that came in the kit they look identical they don't have they're not labeled right or left they look identical so we're going to take this little bracket and we're going to come across the back side where we can access the threads on the outer side so I'm gonna reach in and I'm just gonna stick it through like so so now I'm gonna take the washers I'm gonna take the screws and push them through the washers like so next I'm going to connect the backrest to this little bracket area so looking at the passenger armrest the side with the holes go to the outside so just looking at this armrest this would be the right side this would be the left side because the drink holder goes to the outside so now I'm gonna feed the armrest through the I'm gonna feed it through the hole and now it's lined up with that bracket a longer screwdriver works best with the replacement bolts I'm just gonna get it started I'm not gonna tighten it all the way down I'm just getting it started I'm 
now I can get it started. As you tighten up on one screw, the other M6 by 20 screw kind of loosens up. So you just want to make sure both of them are tight. Don't want to over tighten it, but you want to make sure it's nice and snug. Now that I have it installed, I'm going to take one of the rubber plugs and the, the rubber plug has this slot. And remember the slot is at the 12 o'clock position. I'm just going to go in like so. I'm going to be putting that armrest on the right side. So the side that you're not going to use, you can just take the rubber plug and stick it inside of the armrest. So now we can do the opposite side. Now that I have the trunk open, now I'm going to take my screwdriver. I'm going to take out this top screw first. Top screw first. I'm going to take my offset screwdriver and now Turn the screw counterclockwise. Being careful when you push out on it, you want to make sure that you don't break this plastic. And that's the little screw. And now I can. And now I can just take off this cover. I'm gonna go bottom up first. Comes right out. The top screw will not go back into the armrest. So we're just gonna put it here on the cover and put it in storage for a later date. So we're going to take these M6 by 20 Phillip head screws, feed them through the washer. The flattest portion of the washer would go to the inside of the armrest. So now that I have the screws ready for the bracket, we're going to install the bracket. It doesn't matter which whether it's up or down, they're both the same. We're going to just reach behind it, push it through. Now we can take the passenger armrest with the hole being on the outer side. Remember, the notch is at the 12 o'clock position. That's going to come in when it's time to install the drink holder. Just going to slide it in like so. Slide it into place. I'm going to take my M6 by 20 Phillip head screws and attach it into the mounting bracket. Just want to get it started. I'm going to take my second M6 by 20 Phillip head screw, attach it to the bracket. Start on one screw, then tighten the other screw and just kind of go back and forth until you get it, get it snug, nice and tight. You don't want to over tighten it. So now that I have the Gold Strike passenger armrest installed, now I can install the accessory mount. And the accessory mount has a little slot here for this gasket that came in the kit. So I'm just gonna slide it over. Just roll the gasket into the slot. And that's gonna keep water and moisture out of that area. So looking at the mounting accessory, it's got that slot that goes in the 12 o'clock position. 
So the slot is in the 12 o'clock position. We're going to put it in like so. Just push it in and turn it. And that locks it into position. So now we can install the Gold Strike drink holder. So looking at this particular drink holder, this is the smaller drink holder. You can attach the big ass cup holder or you can attach the smaller drink holder. For this video, I'm going to be attaching the smaller drink holder. One of the things about the Gold Strike accessories is that it comes with the attachment for the mounting, the mounting ball or the ball mount and it snaps in like so for the handlebars. So if you have this cup holder on your handlebars, it generally attaches like this. So it's going to give us the same type of attachment that came in the kit. So we're not going to use the mounting ball that came in the kit. We're going to attach the drink holder to the accessory mount. And if you notice, you got four notches inside of this accessory mount. So I'm going to put on Gonna feed down the, the screw mount. I'm gonna go back to the 12 o'clock position. Stick it in there like so. Turn it to lock it in position. And now I can attach the big ass cup holder. Or in this case, I'm gonna attach the small drink holder. I will include in the description of this video or where you guys can pick up the accessories that I'm adding to my Honda Goldwing here today. So now that I have the cup holder attached, I really like the way it turned out. One of the things I like about this particular setup is that if you hit a bump, the cup holder is going to stay upright. So even if you hit a bump, it's going to stay upright. But in the event you want to put a cover on your bike or if you want to take the cup holder out, you just turn the cup holder upside down and pull it out like so. You can take the rubber plug that came in the kit, put the notch at the 12 o'clock position, and you can leave it out, or you can take the rubber plug out, take the drink holder, put it back in position, and now that cup holder is not coming out. And so with this cup holder, it's about big enough for a bottle of water. Um, and another thing I like about this is that you can attach the big ass cup holder if you want to put a bigger style uh, cup holder back here. This cup holder is just pretty much big enough for a 20 ounce drink or big enough for a bottle of water. This is going to complete the installation of the Gold Strike passenger armrest that I installed on the Honda Goldwing. I like the way everything turns out. I just really like the option to be able to put the cup holder on the right or left side. Or I can install two cup holders on this passenger backrest. If you guys have any questions or any comments, put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris. Out in the Caliente Garage, and I've just installed the Gold Strike passenger armrest for the Honda Goldwing Tour. And I will talk to you guys later.